All right, this part of the Scholastic Art um, articles that we've been reading is about uh, three different contemporary artists. Um, so let's look at each of these works really quickly, and then we'll start to read about each one. So here is a picture of a fruit, and it's actually a painting. It's oil on linen, so it's an oil painting, and it's titled Red Delicious, so it is of an apple. And it was made in 2015, so it's a very modern artwork by Cindy Wright. Cindy Wright is that one. This one is by Amy Sherald. Um, she is learning to love moments, to love moments for themselves. That's the title. And it was done in 2017, and it's oil on canvas again. It's a painting. Um, so another very modern work. And lastly, we have... Thomas Egerger, um, Yellow Harvest, 2012, Acrylic, Oil, and Carbon on Canvas. So many different painting media in this one. Um, but these three artworks, could you name what type of artwork each is, which genre? Um, remember, there is landscape, portrait, and still life as different genres. So if you look at this one, you can think of what it is and this one how it's different and then this other one finally is the last okay so um let's read about these classic meets contemporary how do these artists follow and break traditional rules of art in their paintings what makes a work of art contemporary it is made in the present and quite often the artist challenges existing conventions of art Many contemporary artists adapt what they know about art, art's historical themes, styles, and subjects in their own work. They explore traditional genres such as still lifes, portraits, and landscapes while providing new twists on the established ideas. Realistic and Rotten. Belgian artist Cindy Wright takes on the still life in this one up here of the apple. Um, 2015 painting Red Delicious above. As in many still lifes, fruit is front and center, but in her example, Wright's subject is a rotten apple instead of a typical bowl of fresh produce. Wright works in a hyper-realistic style, giving the decaying snack a level of detail equal to that of a photograph. Artists have worked in this style for centuries, capturing their subject's realistic qualities, especially before the invention of cameras. For many, their goal is to make the fruit look delicious. The wrinkled skin and white mold in Wright's work do not make you want to take a bite. The artist includes a label complete with a web address rooting this image in the present despite its traditional subject and style. What statement might Wright be making about food today? So here's the sticker that's like the label and you can see the web address right here. It's www something. And, and it's clearly a rotten apple, okay? But what's amazing is that it is so realistic. And that is a um, widely used way of painting, realistic, um, going back to the Renaissance. And so um, it is classical that way and modern with this label and website and just the fact that it's an, a nasty looking fruit because <laughs> otherwise if it was a classical painting it would be delicious looking fruit and it'd be like a bounty a harvest okay so now we're going to look at this one and, and read about her and this painting um again it's by amy sherald and it's called she was learning to love moments to love moments for themselves and it was done in 2017 and it was an oil on canvas so it's another painting so let's read about the portrait a portrait with a point. Portraits typically capture the subject as he or she appears. American painter Amy Sherald, however, adapts the genre to say something new about race in her home country. In the 2017 portrait above, the subject's grisale or grayscale skin is reminiscent of a black and white photo. The vibrant clothing and pink background contrast with the figure's monotone face. So it's saying the color in her outfit is very, very different in contrasting to the, the gray of her skin, which is um, kind of unclear 
as far as like what color exactly she is, right? So he's playing with the ideas of depicting race in this. Um, Cheryl wants to exclude the idea of color as race in her artwork. The artist hopes this will help viewers base their observations of the subject on the bright dynamic composition rather than the color of her skin. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why she would do this, but, um, you know, maybe it's to make you feel like, you know, this could be anybody, not just, you know, a certain a person of a certain skin color. Who knows? Um, I think we're going to talk about this one next because it kind of describes it in the heading, Vast Sketchy Space. Tomer, Thomas Egerger experiments with new ways of rendering space in his 2012 Yellow Harvest. The German painter elim eliminates many elements that appear in a typical landscape. He doesn't include a horizon line or other identifying objects such as trees, creating a confusing sense of space and scale. Hopefully you remember what a horizon line means. It would mean that there's a sky above and land below, and there'd be a line between those two things, sky above and land below. This one does not have that, as they were saying. Uh, so broad diagonal gray bands pull the viewer's eye in the background, suggesting abstract roads and adding depth to the scene. Egerger adds figures who appear to be working hard in the vast space. They are engaged in a variety of activities, bending to pick whatever they are harvesting, carrying heavy bags, and resting. Sketched figures appear as well, juxtaposed with the more finished characters in the scene. That means they're um, collaged, kind of, along with those other figures, okay? Um, like the way he renders space, Egerger only hints at the figures' faces, adding delicate shadows to represent their facial features. He creates a narrative within his landscape, but leaves unanswered questions about where the scene takes place and who the figures represent. Each of the artists featured here uses his or her knowledge of art history and tradition to create works for the modern world. What genres can you explore and make your own? So I would even say that these modern artists are somewhat working in different styles as well, because this one is kind of abstract and not as detailed or realistic as this one. And also um, the faces, uh, this one and the ones down here, are different in that these ones don't have a lot of detail and this one definitely has a lot of detail. You can kind of see all the features of the figure's face. <clears throat> all right, that 